Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to plug in a display to your Surface. Millions of people have been rushing to set up a work from home base at the moment, and that's caused a lot of computer stores to sell out of monitors. So I guess it's not surprising that a lot of people have been visiting our video over the last few weeks on how to connect external displays to your surface. One of the comments I saw in that video, and unfortunately I can no longer find it, but it said, show us the ports because nobody shows us the cables and the ports and we don't know what to connect where. So this video is dedicated to answering that. We're gonna show you all of the ports that you need to know about for all of the surface models that are out there. So let's take a look at the surface first. There are two main ports used on all of the surface models, depending on which one you have. Older models of Surface from the Surface Pro 3 all the way through to Surface Pro 6, Surface Book 1, Surface Laptop 1, and 2, Surface Studio, they all included a mini display port. That one looks like this. Surface used mini display port on those models because the display port standard is an open standard, which means it's free for everyone to use, and it actually has some really good capabilities built in. So if you're working from home and you want to connect an external display, directly to one of these surfaces, you need a cable that allows you to connect to your monitor from this mini display port. But on a typical monitor, you don't have a mini display port. You'd have any combination of these different ports. For example, you'd have VGA, HDMI, display port, and USB-C. So that's a view of all of the ports that you could typically find on a modern display, but you won't have all of those. For example, an older monitor might have a VGA and a HDMI port. There's probably some extra ports as well. A lot of monitors these days have extra USB ports or audio ports for speakers that are inbuilt. We're not gonna worry about these for this video. Probably a newer monitor wouldn't have a VGA port at all. I mean, it's actually over 30 years old, that connector. So a new monitor might actually have a USB-C port. So to connect my Surface to one of these monitors, my best option would be to get a cable that has mini display port at one end and one of those other ports at the other end. If your monitor has a display port, then get a mini display port to display port cable. If your monitor doesn't have a display port but it has HDMI, then go with that. Mini display to HDMI cable. And if you have a really old screen and you want to keep using it, you can get a mini display port to VGA adapter and then plug into that VGA cable. If you already have a HDMI cable or a display port cable, you might find it more effective just to get a small adapter that goes from the mini display port to the cable that you have. The new Surface models, Surface Pro 7, Surface Laptop 3, Surface Studio 2, Surface Book 2, and Surface Go, all include a USB-C port instead of that mini display port. The USB-C port looks like this. USB-C, again, it's an open standard, and USB-C can do far more than just connect displays. One of the great things that you can do with a USB-C is that you can use it to charge at the same time you can connect your display. You can also get docking stations that work well with USB-C. We'll talk about that a little later. To plug in an external monitor directly to your Surface, your best bet is a monitor with a USB-C input and a USB-C to USB-C cable. If you want to connect one of these newer Surfaces to an older screen that doesn't have USB-C, then you'll need an adapter. A USB-C to HDMI or USB-C to DisplayPort is your best bet. If you're stuck with an old monitor that has VGA, you can get an adapter, but it's probably time to get a new monitor. So there's an overview of some of the ports and cables that you need to make it all work. Now, what about docking stations? I get asked about these a lot. Now, over the years, I've used a lot of different docking stations with Surface. Microsoft have had a couple of their own docking stations. The more recent one is called Surface Dock. It came out with the Surface Pro 4 and it looks like this. It has a power brick and a desk brick that's quite heavy so that it sits nice and firmly on your desk. You'll find several USB ports on it so you can plug in things like keyboards and mice and peripherals as well as two mini display ports. It connects your Surface with the Surface Connect which also charges it. It's a really good docking station. It keeps your Surface charged, it's got all those ports and for most models, it'll allow you to connect up to two 4K screens to your Surface at once, with some limitations. However, the docking station's getting quite a bit old now, and it probably needs to be updated. 
So if I had one of those newer Surface models with USB-C, I'd look at some alternatives instead. A USB-C capable monitor like my LG widescreen has the ability to charge the Surface via that USB-C using power delivery. This particular monitor also has some USB-A ports on it and some speakers, so it's actually effectively a docking system. So when I'm using this screen, I don't need a dock at all. But if I needed more than one screen, I'd be looking for a USB-C docking station. There are USB-C docking stations available that would get you the ability to charge your Surface and connect multiple displays at 4K and lots more. I'll leave some links to some of those products that we've discussed below. There'll be links to our website for Australian customers and for international US customers, our Amazon affiliate links will be below. One more question that I'll address. Can I use Miracast? Miracast is a great open standard for wireless screen sharing that's used by Android and Windows devices. You might be tempted to connect your display wirelessly over Miracast. But if you're working from home, I'd suggest that this is not the best idea. Miracast is ideal for presentations to an audience where you want to move around freely and share content. You don't want to have those wires, that encumbrance of being connected. But generally a cabled connection is more reliable, it's hassle-free, and it just uses a lot less power as well. So my advice is, whenever you can, use a cable. It'd be great to have a wire-free world, but we're a long way from that. I hope that that's helped you to get set up with your home office and your Surface. If you found it helpful, remember to hit like and subscribe to our channel. We've got tons more tips like this one here. Hit the notification icon too, so that you get notified about our weekly video updates. Last take was the good one. <coughs> All right.